Hey guys, in today's video I'm going over the sound off signal uh, in force pipe bar and its connection and programming. Uh, to start off with, um, I'm going to go over the, the, the basic uh, eight functions uh, that we'll be using and then uh, we'll uh, do a demo of the light bar uh, doing these eight functions and then we'll get into the software showing uh, how each one is programmed. Um, we're doing this uh, particular demonstration with the light bar as a standalone uh, device, not connected to its integrated siren. Um, so we'll be programming the LAN box to, to handle that. Uh, so we could do it with just eight individual toggle switches or another uh, remote controller or whatever configuration you have. So um, these um, eight wires, uh, they're all, they all can be uh, individually programmed to do any function. They're, they're uh, versatile in that way in that they can be configured to do anything. So um, except the pink white wire here, which is uh, uh, you're going to be your uh, on off switch, uh, uh, ignition switch. So uh, let's just get right into doing uh, the demo and then uh, the programming itself. Uh, just a reminder, uh, code one is just going to be the rear light bar. Code two is the rear and front. And code three is uh, rear and front with all the, uh, the alley and takedown flashes as well. So, um, and then uh, both with the left arrow and right arrow, if you combine them, uh, you get center diverge. So, all right, let's go with the demo and then uh, we'll switch to the software standby. All right, guys, we're out here at the light bar. I have my eight individual wires uh, broken out here and I'm gonna be applying 12 volts to them one at a time and uh, showing you the uh, function each one does. To start off with, we're gonna go with uh, uh, code one and that's just basically, and we're looking at the rear of the light bar here, and that's just basically rear light bar flashing. Uh, the next uh, wire is going to be uh, code two, which will be the rear and the front with a little white action on the rear. Uh, but this is basically uh, you're um, driving without siren. And then the next wire is going to be code three, and this is where you get the full uh, lighting. You get strobing um, up front on your uh, takedowns and you get strobe, uh, strobing lights on your alleys as well. All right, the next function is gonna be left arrow. And this is a directional arrow followed by right arrow. And if the two of them are combined you get uh, center diverge. All right. So uh, after that, we get uh, we get left alley, driver side alley, then right alley, and then last is uh, front or takedown, and that's the uh, ones over here. So um, that's our basic eight functions. And we have those mapped out to each wire to do each one of those uh, functions, and we'll uh, we'll go over that in more detail. So stand by. All right. So uh, here we're back. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the software. Uh, when you go over to the um, uh, Sound Off Signal website, you're going to want to get the USB driver and the Sound Off Central Light Bar program. Uh, version 1.28 here and um, and download those to your uh, your hard drive and install them and then um, you're uh, you'll be good to go uh, once you get them installed and uh, you bring up the uh, the the light bar here um, the different screens that you can go through uh, to do the different configurations. Um, you'll just have to explore around and play with it, but I want to just go over the basics first and then um, and then we can uh, go from there. So I wanted to start with those first uh, uh, eight functions that we we saw earlier. So 
we'll start with code one, which is the um, um, uh, mode one over here, and that's just going to be the rear light bar. And if I come over here and 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 uh, hit my simulator, you can you can see it. It will give the pattern of what's going on. And um, I um, um, I'll, I'll I'll give one demonstration here of uh, how to uh, do the uh, 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 setup, but I'm going to leave that for the other videos that um, that sound off uh, did and your own exploration to 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 get into those. But to to initially set them up, what you do is you click and you drag your icon across the entire scene, the the members that you want to uh, use. And then they are highlighted, and now you can come down here and pick the the different uh, color schemes and um, any of the, um, uh, uh, the the patterns that you want. So in this case, I'm using a pattern called Roadrunner um, that the uh, the sound of guy uh, suggested, just as a simple one. Uh, but anyway, this is where you get into the complete setup of the. Uh, uh, of the pattern and everything that you want about it and then um, like I said uh, once you get that done uh, you can save it over here and you can run the simulator and uh, make sure that it's doing what you want to now when it came to mode 2 that's where uh, I set that up here and if I want to do a simulator on it and you can see it and then mode 3 uh, Here's mode three in action. Okay, so um, uh, let me turn that off. Now, uh, so those are those are the three uh, the patterns that we had on on this list here, and the other uh, items here, the arrows and the alleys in the front, they're they're individual um, they're individual functions. So you notice over here, I'm, I'm clicked on patterns. If I come over here to my uh, functions tab. This is where I can uh, see all of my uh, individual uh, things like my alley here. And you see I have it selected. And once again, you have it drawn up, you pick a thing, and then when you're done, uh, you just lock it in. So takedown, uh, here I've, I've turned my takedown into five. You can, uh, you can do a rear, you can do uh, just pretty much any combination you want. Um, the arrows here, um, same thing, um, uh, select it, and then a whole new uh, window pops up as far as um, the different exact settings that you want on them. But they all come down to uh, the mapping of the wires here. And I'll start up here, and we can see, once again, these are the eight wires that I chose, these blue, white, green, white. And we'll go through these individually, and I'll show you how you can see them uh, one at a time here in the software. So right now on blue light, what we have is we have all rear lights and corner flash. And then as we go to the green light, which is uh, the, the Mo2, now we've, uh, we're kicking in all the front lights and corner flash. And uh, we're, we're turning on Mo2 here. Uh, and this is setting up for the... Uh, the siren module, uh, the, the incorporated siren module, so you don't have to program it twice. So you just do these changes uh, now. And then uh, here's going to be uh, mode three where we're put in the flashing alleys and takedowns. And, um, and we escalate it over here to the mode three on uh, function. So those are our three uh, 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 flashing uh, pattern uh, uh, setups. So let's go. Once again, uh, back to the uh, so on the for the left arrow and right arrow we got uh, gray, white, and purple white. So if we go back in here and find the gray white, and we'll scroll down, we'll see left rear left rear arrow on, and then when we go to the purple white, we'll see the right rear arrow on. So it's uh, it's just that easy of uh, as far as mapping these wires. And the things that they do uh, is just uh, pick the wire and then pick the function. So, and once again, we had a brown over here for a left alley, and we had a, a, a oh, that's right, yellow white for the right alley, 
and then the red white was for the uh, takedowns. So um, there is um, there is all my functions there. And oh well, I forgot the front. Uh, let's see here, the fronts. Uh, no, that that's the the red white was the front here. So um, um, now that uh, you got all the wires uh, mapped. It's just a matter of, like I said, providing 12 volts to each one to activate them. Um, it does have a, a really cool uh, feature where you can come over here to the diagnostic screen and um, uh, manually uh, turn the, uh, the lights on and off uh, uh, yourself um, with, the, with the software. So you don't have to do the um, uh, testing with the actual wires. You can do it with the, uh, with the software here. Um, now, uh, this is just a kind of a gross simplification of this program. There's many uh, other um, pages within pages, but this is just kind of uh, what you need to get off to your basic uh, functions and to uh, get started. You're more than likely when you first uh, plug in, you're going to get a little um, uh, tension arrow over here on your uh, firmware update, a little... Uh, um, you know, exclamation mark, and all you have to do is just click on it, and it, it and it's got it all. You don't have to go down, don't download it. It already has the updated version inside it, so it it goes over, uh, goes over and uh, updates the little uh, breakout box uh, automatically when you, when you select it, and it just takes a few seconds. So just do that uh, right away as soon as you plug in and get that over with before you uh, start doing anything else. And then uh, when you're all done uh, with whatever programming, uh, you can save it to file and then uh, upload it to the device. So um, in uh, any other uh, changes that you make, you can also uh, uh, save it again as a, as a revision. That way you can keep the old version and the new version uh, if you want, if you're in the kind of experimental mode and you don't want to mess up your uh, your your OG original. So, okay, well, um, I think that's about it for now, and uh, this will get you enough to, to get going. And uh, hope this helps, and we'll talk to you soon.